Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing one of the 13 ghosts. Ghost number 5? 6 if I'm not mistaken. Ghost number 6, the Torn Prince. So, that being said, I'm Leroy. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, Royce Clayton was born in 1940 and at the age of 17, he was a star player on his high school baseball team. He was so good that every college in the country wanted him to attend their colleges so that he could join their teams. They were all offering him first class tickets out of his very small town. That was kind of miserable for him. One day, a local greaser challenged him to a drag race, and Royce was able to hold his own for the first mile of the race, but then he suddenly lost control of his vehicle, and his hot rod flipped over three times before bursting into flames. His peers watched in horror as the flames engulfed their fallen hero. Royce's remains ended up being buried in a small plot of land overlooking his beloved baseball field that he used to play baseball at. Royce becomes a ghost in his afterlife armed with a bat that he uses to swing at the living. His face is mangled and his clothes are torn and bloody from the accident that he was in, a reminder of his demise. Cyrus Criticos eventually learns of Royce and captures him in one of his spirit containment cubes as Royce serves as a perfect candidate to fulfill the role of the torn prince of the Black Zodiac aiding in powering up Basilius's device. Royce's containment cube is transported to the glass house's basement where he remained, pacing with a smug look on his face. When the house begins to shift, Dennis accidentally gets trapped in the containment cube with him. Royce begins attacking him, sending him flying back with a swing of his bat. Maggie, who was with Dennis and is able to see Royce using the spectral goggles, helps him to avoid the swings of the bat and maneuver himself out of the cube just in the nick of time. We see Royce a bit later when Cyrus and Dennis are walking in a corridor cowering behind a sheet of magically protective glass. Royce appears before them swinging against the glass very aggressively, but they're able to get away from him in the end. When the Latin spells are played throughout the house, Royce, being a spirit, has no choice but to obey the chants, manifesting in the center of the house alongside the other eleven ghosts, frozen in place on the wheel of the Black Zodiac and the spot marked by the symbol of the Torn Prince. When Maggie disrupts the chanting of the spell, Royce is able to move about freely, and he, along with many of his fellow disgruntled spirits, lifts Cyrus up over their heads as a group, and then they throw his body into the shifting metallic rings of the Basilius device, chopping him into many pieces and making him look like a friend of the torso. The house explodes, shattering all of the magical barriers that had kept the ghosts trapped within the confines of the not-actually-a-house house. The ghosts all wander out into the world, and at least one of the ghosts cross over. Whether or not Royce did, however, remains a mystery. Thank you for listening to my video discussing the Torn Prince, or rather just rehashing and telling the story of his existence as a boy and then as a ghost. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and if you want more 13 Ghost content, then by all means subscribe because there's plenty more to come. If you liked the video, give it a like, and if you have something to say, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.